You might have seen me do this uh, this way before, but um, I'm going a slightly different way this time. So I apologise if you have. Okay, so slightly going over old ground, but uh, there's some new stuff I've um, found out. So that river, that is the Kennet, a thousand years ago, it was called the Kunatan. Probably 500 or more years ago, it had a very similar name. So there's a um, something. It might have been. So there's a there's a a Roman settlement just beyond Marlborough, which went over in the last um, video, called Cunetio, which is on the Kennet. So it's bound to have been uh, a uh, ancient British name, uh, something like um, Cunet or Kinet or whatever. Uh, and it's been uh, called that longer than the English have been here. Crossing the Kennet, uh, the Kunatan. Uh, there is um, uh, a place called the Salt, uh, Salt House, which is the Salt House. There's a uh, talk in um, Alfred's colloquy of the Salterer has been an important, um, an important um, occupation in uh, Anglo-Saxon times. But I'm on the ridgeway now, we're heading up to the uh, Twer and Beachas. This is the ridgeway going north from uh, Overton. Uh, crossing the uh, Kennet at that point is a place called the Salthus, uh, which means salt house. And up on the hill is the Twey and Beachas, which means the twin barrows. Here is another barrow uh, that belonged to a person called Coulter, and its name is the Colton Berge in the Charters. The the hills, uh, the, the range of um, the ridgeway along here is called the Hackenpenner, or the Hook, um, the Hook Hill. And this is the Hera path, uh, an Anglo-Saxon uh, army path. Hera means army. Charter doesn't describe is this stone circle here, the sanctuary. Well, it's more than one stone circle, and it also hadn't had wooden circles in there as well. The word wouldn't have survived until Old English times, but uh, the stones lying about here would have been an impressive monument. I do wonder why they chose the two barrows to be the landmark, but there you go.
This is uh, this is where the Roman road crosses the Ridgeway, which is not the same as the A the A4, and uh, it goes down and uses West Kennet, um, not West Kennet, Silbury Hill. Uses Silbury Hill as a sighting um, point, and then turns slightly, then heads off uh, towards Morgan Hill. Where is it? There's Morgan's Hill over there with the telegraph poles, the radio wireless poles on top. So this is the Ridgeway, uh, in the uh, the Anglo-Saxons called it the Ridgewayers, uh, it's not so different from today. Uh, and we've been uh, across the the, uh, the river Kunatan at the South House, Hoos, up the Ridgewayers, past the uh, the, the Twey and Bayachas, and uh, here we are on the, the Ridgewayers um, properly. There's uh, completely surrounded by um, uh, Bronze Age Barrow cemeteries. Uh, the majority of them, many of them, are pointing, obviously pointing towards um, Avebury and the uh, and the Avenue and so on. But uh, some, like the one um, over there, there's uh, I just um, shown you. You can't see Avebury or the uh, or the Avenue. Uh, so it does tend to suggest it's looking in a in a different direction, uh, whatever. Or it's or it's um, its reasoning uh, for its position is um, is the ridgeway plus the valley to the south, something like that. Who knows? Or maybe there was a cross crossroads uh, before the Romans came here. Um, but uh, we can't be sure. This is definitely the. Um, places that I'm talking about um, we can only conjecture because the Overton um, uh, the village boundaries uh, weren't here before the 19th century that's what Grundy tells us but um, the the evidence it mentions the Ridgeway it mentions those two barrows it mentions going between them uh, so it's um, it's a pretty good bet 